What's up, everyone? I'm Coach D. You know, J.D. Vance might go down as one of the worst vice presidential picks in the history of this country. Any single time he's asked a question and given the opportunity to clean things up for Donald Trump, he does the worst job of it. And and we know that is a requirement to be Donald Trump's running mate. I mean, that is a requirement to be a Donald Trump surrogate. We see Donald Trump go out and mess up the things he wants to say, say the most horrible things, and then immediately after that, we see a bunch of surrogates on Fox News, RSBN, OAN, and Newsmax trying to explain what Donald Trump meant. J.D. Vance isn't even good at that. Like, He's given a softball question here about what happened at Madison Square Garden last night. He's just asked, you know what? There were some racist things being said. Your campaign is already distancing themselves from it. What do you have to say about it? You would think he would say, we're distancing ourselves from it because the joke shouldn't have been made. But nope. Nah, not J.D. Vance. J.D. Vance basically doubles down on the joke. Uh, last night during the pre-program, uh, a comedian made several racist jokes that the campaign has since distanced itself from. Another speaker called Kamala Harris the Antichrist. Um, another called her the devil. Uh, you've talked before about former President Trump being able to unite the country. I'm curious, as we are entering this last uh, stretch of campaigning this final week, is that the right tone to have started this final eight days with? Well, first of all, I think that we've got to focus, Alec, I appreciate the question, but I think that we as, as a country, and I think that includes the press, it includes the Kamala Harris campaign, and it certainly includes our campaign, the way that we unite the country is to talk about the issues the American people care the most about. And what we're doing over the next eight days is we're focused, laser focused, on how we're going to close the border, how we're going to make American lives more affordable again, how, how we're going to bring down the cost of housing. That's what we should be talking. I think a lot of Americans are sick of the distractions and sick of the BS. They want our candidates to talk about how they're going to solve the people's problems. And that's what we ought to do. Well, why don't you talk to your boss, Donald Trump? You should say to him, hey, we should be laser focused on telling the American people what we're going to do to better their lives. So the next time you're at one of your damn rallies, don't talk about the size of Arnold Palmer's member. And while you're at it, don't bring up Hannibal Lecter. And while you're at it, don't do the weave. We all know that's just an excuse for you not knowing what the hell you're talking about. So just don't do that. And you know what else? How about you not have your damn comedian call one of our freaking territories a freaking floating garbage can? How about you not have your comedian tell black jokes? How about you not have Rudy Giuliani and all these other people get on stage and call Kamala Harris the devil or the Antichrist? That would be a good idea, Donald Trump. Again, J.D. Vance, talk to your boss, bro. Now, I, I didn't, I, I've heard about the joke. I haven't actually seen the joke that you mentioned, but I think that it's telling that Kamala Harris's closing message is essentially that all of Donald Trump's voters are Nazis and you should get really pissed off about a comedian telling a joke. I mean, where's the lie though? Like, they're basically all proving that if they're not Nazis, they're definitely pretty damn close because that entire thing last night was pretty much a Klan rally without the freaking hoods. Let's be real here. And no one's saying you should be pissed off about a joke, but we are saying you should pay attention to what the people you are thinking about voting for are saying about your people. And that is very important. That is not the message of a winning campaign. And most importantly, it's not the message of a person who's fit to be the president of the United States of America. I. And, and, and my own view on this is, look, again, I haven't seen the joke. I, I you know, maybe, maybe it's a stupid racist joke, as you said. Maybe it's not. I haven't seen it. I'm not going to comment on the specifics of the joke. But I think that we have to stop getting so offended at every little thing in the United States of America. I'm just, I'm so over it. So he didn't see the joke. Kind of heard about the joke. Might be a racist joke. 
But we need to stop getting offended by everything in America. And he's so over it. That's hilarious. And here's why. Because not long after that, he said this. But to reject Kamala Harris and her broken cop politics, which is more about attacking her fellow citizens, dividing our fellow Americans, than proposing a positive agenda for how to govern. She is a disgrace. She is endangering the life of Donald J. Trump, and we're going to send her back to California where she belongs. She's endangering the life of Donald Trump. How? With her words? Not words, right? Because we shouldn't be offended by words. She's endangering the life of Donald Trump. This is on in one breath. The man says we need to stop being offended by things. But he and Donald Trump have been trying to convince us now that Kamala Harris's words are the reason why there's been attempts on Donald Trump's life. We shouldn't be offended. We should be able to say what we want. But if Kamala Harris says anything mean about his boss, I mean, they're putting their life in danger. Oh my goodness. They don't have self-awareness. They're not honest. The, the lies coming out of this campaign, the crying and the whining. And when we know there is nothing Kamala Harris has said that even comes within half of half as bad as what Donald Trump has said about Kamala Harris. There is nothing Kamala Harris has said about Donald Trump supporters that comes anywhere near close to what Donald Trump has said about Democrats and Kamala Harris's supporters. Again, these people have no self-awareness and honestly, Maybe they do. Maybe this is all just lies and deceit because they understand the low IQ of their supporters. The people eat it up. They fall for the lies day in and day out. J.D. Vance is the worst at this. He is horrible at it and he is going to be part of the reason why Donald Trump loses this election. Period. Don't want no enemies or ops. Envy in their heart, I tell them stop. Vacation on the yacht.